In this video, I'll show you how I tried to remove the RFID chip from the RPWFE GE water filter. And uh, although I removed the chip, but uh, I was unsuccessful because I damaged it during the removal. This video will help you see in detail uh, what the chip looks like in the later part of the video, how flexible it is and uh, what mistake I did, which you should avoid while trying to remove it. So basically I used a small, these micro screwdrivers uh, and tried to pry it from uh, the filter housing. But um, while doing so, as you will see in this video, while I'm trying to remove it, uh, I damaged uh, these delicate wires. This job should have been done with a similar tool, but not so sharp. And uh, normally people use a plastic uh, screwdriver of this sort, which I didn't have. So I just tried to wing it. And as a result, I ended up damaging it. Uh, this uh, filter was uh, already old and expired, so I didn't lose anything, but it was just an experiment. And I have seen a couple of other videos on YouTube, but none of them shows how to do it or what the chip looks like. So I thought I'll share it here. So now comes that part of the video where I damage these wires here. Here I continued with the removal so that the chip can be fully removed. Before removing it fully, I'll... here is a close up of what this chip looks like. Unfortunately, I damaged these fine wires during removal as I was using a sharp object. You can do it with a blunt tool and it can safely be removed without any damage. As you can see, it is uh, pretty flexible from all sides. The wires can be bent reasonably. So all you need to do is just be careful about this uh, plastic epoxy coating on the backside. Rest of it is pretty flexible and can be easily removed. Thanks for watching.